Hey guys, I'm Michael Chong, a year three Hong Kong Baptist University student majoring in English. And I'm Marco, a year three student uh, studying in the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, and I'm majoring in Economics and Management. Yep, and we're both actually graduates from Yan College Kowloon. Now, if you've seen my video about uh, how I went from this, um, well, person who fails his exams in primary school to this guy who wins public speaking competitions, um, well, actually, that video is not completely accurate. Or should I say, I didn't let you know, um, you know, exactly the complete story. So basically, today we're going to tell you um, about how we were actually pretty bad students back in secondary school. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So if you don't know already, Wyan College Kowloon is actually a pretty decent school in Hong Kong, which means uh, all kids uh, from their primary schools who got into Wyan were pretty decent, at least when they were when they just got in. And so I was one of those kids with, you know, uh, basically this. I'm being called. I'm sort of an all rounder. At least that's what I think I am. Back in primary six or whatever, I, you know, I do swimming and then I get decent grades. And so that's how you know I was qualified. I qualified for YN, and it's pretty much the same for Marco, I guess. Yeah, like I think I was. A decent student too when I was in primary school like I joined different school teams like uh, I joined the basketball school team and I was also a member of the orchestra back in primary school and yeah again I had decent grades so that's why I entered uh, like Kwan College Kowloon too yeah pretty humble for Mark from Marco <laughs> because you know he was he was this role model all the girls would go crazy for him back in primary school I right? hope so yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah, that's basically our primary school story. All very good. And that transitioned, uh, and then we transitioned into like form one. And that was still pretty good. And mm -hmm. for me, I got uh, two times. I was named two times as, you know, the, the, the student with the best English grade. So I ranked uh, number one in like the English subject. And for Marco... Uh, for me, yeah, back in secondary one, I guess yeah, I really focused a lot on, like, I tried to focus on academics, or I was pushed by my parents to focus on academics. I guess that's the case. Right. Yeah, so that's why uh, I got good grades, like, uh, like in all subjects, I think. Yeah, in all subjects. And But Michael was much better than me in terms of English back then. Uh, <laughs> not really. I just, I just, I beat him by like one mark, but pretty sure that's because, you know, Miss Lowe, you know, she, uh, uh, like my English teacher, like who taught both of us, I was in the yeah. debating team, so I must have got some extra credit or something. Mm. <laughs> but then, yeah, uh, Marco again is really humble because actually he ranked like second in the entire form, uh, in the entire year. So among all the Form 1 students in the first semester, and then I think he ranked fourth in the entire uh, year uh, yeah. in you know, semester two, like the yeah. second semester. That was a really good time. <laughs> yeah. We were good students yeah, we for were. the most part. <laughs> we uh, were, yeah. Except for when that time, you know, we sneaked into, we sneaked down to like... Uh, oh, yeah, the table tennis corner we yeah. had in, primary, <laughs> uh, in secondary school. And yeah, basically back then, uh, Michael was very interested in Pokemon. I guess he's still, still yeah, he's still, still interested now. In yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, we <laughs> tried to discover the uh, adult world. Yeah, to see like what's about, like what's up about pornography and stuff. And yeah, that's why we decided to search some uh, Pokemon fanfics. Yeah, like, so some yeah. Fan Pokemon <laughs> fanfictions, and you know, we did our own adult research uh, since Form One, yeah. and so. Yeah, but aside from that, we were mm. pretty good students. Um, even you know that was you know that was that, <laughs> that was a good that, learning experience. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a sort of self learning. But um, I would say um, the glory days, you know, I would say like it ended there. The glory days they yeah. really ended there. So uh, going into form two, it was still I think it was still okay for you in the first term because I remembered yeah. you know. Basically, uh, the full marks of like all the grades combined is like this about 1,000 or like a thousand and a hundred marks. That's the full mark. And then back in Form 1, Marco got like 900 nearly, you know, near, nearly like a thousand. But then in Form 2, yeah. he sort of, you know, you could call it a dec declination or something. Yeah. Yeah, sort of a decline, but then it's, it's declination a word. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he got to like this 800, 860 something uh, point. 
yeah. which was still really good. Like back then, uh, like in the first, uh, not semester, but yeah, in the first term of uh, secondary two, uh -huh. uh, like I actually started not to do any revision because uh, I actually I'm I think I'm quite disciplined in doing revisions and like uh, doing homeworks back in secondary one but I started not to do that uh, when I'm secondary two and yeah because I've learned a new skill and that is how to play mobile uh, mobile phone games when uh, during lessons and, well yeah. uh, I would say he acquired that skill <laughs> when he was in form one you know those were the days when we would keep on playing, you know, GTA, basically. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so in Form 1, we were already... Marco was playing that game. I haven't gotten to that, you know, any sort of mobile gaming, serious mobile gaming yet. But then in Form 2, uh, we really got into it. Uh, to the point where, um, you know, our grades really suffered. Um, so my overall grade, like aside from English, all my other subjects, I was nowhere near as good as Marco's. You know, I was getting, in fact, in Form 1, you know, even the, those so-called glory days, I was, you know, I was getting like 781. Oh. I could still remember it to this day. So it was the <laughs> 700 mark point. And, you know, uh, when I, th I guess it was because of my English ability, we were still a part of like the elite class. So yeah. we had six classes and then two of them would be called, you know, so-called yeah, elite. elite classes. Yeah. And so they had people like us, so we were elites. And so the first term in Form 2, I already dropped down to like, you know, a 500, 600, I guess. It wasn't, it wasn't at the 500 okay, yet. So. That, that's for Form 3. <laughs> we'll talk about that yeah. later. One of the teachers we particularly uh, played tricks on serious tricks on was uh, basically our Chinese teacher. He <laughs> had it. Him. <laughs> yeah, he, he had it tough from us. Uh, we would basically, uh, you know, be gaming right on our desks. So we would be putting our mobile phones, like our, our cell phones, uh, the US term for that. Uh, the cell, we would basically be using our phones on our desks and he would be saying like, uh, yeah, like, oh, you need to put away your phone. And then yeah, we were like, yeah, oh, like, who cares? <laughs> he would say like, oh, I know what you're doing under your table, son. And then, and then we would be like, what under the table? Like it's, we're doing this on the table. So it's not under the table. Yeah, we would basically go to that point yeah. of like, you know, responding to our teacher. Um, yeah. So yeah, pretty disrespectful uh, in my opinion. But then in form three, I think things, Escalated. Yeah. <laughs> it, it escalated quickly. Yeah, when I'm form free, secondary free. So basically I got I'm getting more and more addicted into mobile gaming. And at the point that I always lose my temper because uh <laughs> like because I, I'm so focused on the game, like especially FIFA. So there was one time when we were in a history <laughs> class. So I, I was I, I still remember to this day that uh, in that game I was playing Chelsea in, oh. <laughs> in, with my ultimate team. So <laughs> So, uh, like Chelsea was, well, yeah, for me, I, I expected my ultimate team to beat Chelsea quite easily, but at that time, I don't know why, uh, like, I got scored, like, uh, yeah, I lost the game, and then I, I got so furious that I threw my phone on the ground, and that was a brand new, like, Samsung back then. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it was a flagship model at the time, so it was not, yeah. I don't think it was cheap. <laughs> and it was so loud that the whole class looked, like, straight into, like, uh, turned their backs and looked at me, and I was like, oh, Wow, what did I do? <laughs> One more thing that really escalated things quickly in secondary three is that uh, I bought my I bought myself a PlayStation, a PS4, and wow, well, that was the start of a catastrophe. So basically, uh, I yeah, I think I switched roles. I wasn't a student anymore. I was a pro gamer. And for me, uh, Form Three, I actually well, I could call it. I stopped mobile gaming during the lesson. I didn't do, like I was oh. still gaming like, yeah, I didn't game during the lessons. I was watching other people game. <laughs> I was like watching some, some of our friends game. I wasn't actually gaming, but then I was watching people. So I wasn't really paying attention. And actually the, the full mark of like the, all the exams, all the different subjects combined that year was the highest in fact, because that year in four, secondary three, uh, science was basically split up into you know, physics, chemistry, yeah. and then also biology. And I wasn't, I already like failed for the first time uh, in my science exam back yeah. in like secondary two. And so at the, at like in secondary three, um, you know, things didn't improve at all. I didn't pay, I didn't like put any effort. And I'm saying like, not even a little bit 
um, into my science subjects. I wasn't interested and um, I'm not getting good grades. And you know, that's sort of a vicious cycle. And so yeah. my, I, I, come, I had like really bad grades to the point where I reached my all time lowest, uh, you know, complete full mark. And that's a, like a 500 point, 500 mark point. And I got to the point where basically when I, uh, when I was like promoted into secondary four, I saw on my report card, um, you know, basically I was marked down as, you know, conditionally promoted. Whoa. That's a term? Conditionally yeah. promoted? <laughs> Conditionally promoted. Um, I think I was promoted because even though my results were absolutely crap, um, I was still, I guess I was sort of performing in other areas. So my class teacher is our English teacher as well, Miss Lam. And so, you know, we did English class debating and I was, I guess I was pretty active in debating. So to her, I was, you know, not this like really bad student. You know, I was behaving well, but then, you know, I wasn't studying. Uh, and also, actually, secondary three is probably the lowest point. I I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna say it's my life, yeah. but let's say it's my life. So secondary three is like kind of like the lowest point in my life. I wasn't doing well in my grades, uh, absolutely crap grades. And then also in swimming, uh, I wasn't doing well. So I, I don't know if there's a, you know, this sort of linkage between yeah. the things. Like if you do well, then you perform well in everything. But if you, you know, you frick it up, then you basically frick up in all your all aspects. aspects. Yeah, and, and swimming, I was basically, uh, I, I got to the point where I didn't want to train. Oh. Um, so at the time I had to train four times a week. And then I was training like one to two times a week. And every time before I head out to training, when, you know, my, my grandmother or my mother would be like, not shouting at me to go to training. You know, I was shouting back at them. You know, I <laughs> oh. did, didn't want to train. I don't want to swim. I want to play soccer or yeah. something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was, that was pretty terrible for me. Um, but in secondary four, uh, we no longer, well, at least I, I didn't do gaming during the yeah. classes. Uh, I don't well, know about if you. improved, well, <laughs> but for me, like, uh, I think things got worse because, um, yeah, in secondary four, basically when yeah, back at the time I was, I guess attitude wise, I was getting worse and worse. Like, uh, I wasn't respecting anyone in class and basically, yeah, even my parents and yeah, I just gave up studying and I actually got into the science class, but I wasn't really interested in science at all. I just got into science class because my friends, they're also in the science class. Yeah, so that's why I got into science class and I really, really hated the lessons there because I wasn't interested in it. So uh, that, that was a vicious cycle for me. So I wasn't interested in the classes. So I just spent more time on mobile gaming and gaming after class and even playing football to like, to like have some entertainment, I guess. And yeah, I, the grades were, yeah, I got, that was the lowest point of my secondary school life, I guess, like doing nothing. And I was, and I also tried to quit the orchestra at that time. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't interested in playing flute in orchestra anymore. Like, I, I lost passion in everything except yeah. gaming. Marco yeah. is, plays the flute. Uh, you're at like level what? Uh, like uh, ATCL, it's like, uh, so it's like the recital recital okay yeah, yeah, so it's it. called a recital level like, uh, yeah. i don't yeah. i don't know what you call after it. grade eight yeah right after grade eight so like that's where you can actually perform recitals so that's a pretty decent level if i if it's I, a decent level it's a decent yeah. level but then you wanted to quit yeah i wanted yeah. to quit because uh i guess i had the same mentality as you like uh i i, I knew that i Maybe if I spent more time in flute, maybe I'll get better. But every time I wanted to train, like uh, I wanted to like play the flute or just practice. I guess it's the same for you to do practice or uh, to do training. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I would just like slack off. I would just say, oh, why I wouldn't spend the time to play soccer? Like it seems more fun. Yeah, right. like all my friends are uh, staying like after uh, staying in school, like after the. Uh, yeah, after classes and they're playing happily like why should I go to rehearsals like I could just have fun So I wanted to give up and I, I really I, I think I actually gave up back then like when I was secondary school I just skipped rehearsals and just go to go downstairs and play football with others to give you a bit more context by 
you know, becoming a pro gamer. What Marco meant is that basically uh, he was playing FIFA 17 and they had to, they had this thing called the weekend league. So in the weekend league in FIFA 17, basically you have to play 40 matches. And before that, you have to actually qualify for the weekend league. And in order to qualify for the weekend league, you have to basically finish uh, a division one um, season. season. Yeah. And for all of you, fellow FIFA gamers out there, you know how hard it is to complete an online Division 1 season. Basically, you have to win all of your, every match uh, in order to qualify for the Weekend League. So it's called the Weekend League for a reason. It happens during the weekend. So during the week, yeah. this guy was basically uh, at school, you know, scrolling through the transfer market on his like FIFA mobile app, companion <laughs> app. So, you know, he could look at like the players on the market. He could do buying and selling and trading and then also doing researching how to build his squats so that he could perform well in yeah, the Division well, 1 right. season and he could call of qualify uh, for the weekend league. Yeah. And he was, you know, I think you must have done that probably for the entire... Yeah, for Most the entirety of, the of the secondary entire four. Yeah. Okay. And during weekends, it was also... Uh, I spent whole, the all... Yeah, I spent uh, like, like 24 hours, like a lot of hours. I can't... I don't yeah. think... Yeah. Think about it. 40 matches in a row. Yeah. You'd have to probably give up some of your sleeping and, 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 and your eating time as well. Yeah, and I try to play other stuff too. So yeah. <laughs> I basically spend really, all time on gaming. It really, yeah. it really takes up your time and it basically it takes up your life. Yeah. Um, yeah. I still remember at the point that uh, I just gave up time. Uh, I decided not to have lunch. I just s sit, yeah, I just sat on my couch and eating Oreos when it's <laughs> near the afternoon. So that was my lunch <laughs> because I, I don't, I was so focused that I don't want to spend any time on like uh, eating, eating or going out to get lunch. So yeah, that was a really, really bad habit. Though. Yeah, so that's probably like a, a dangerous, well, I don't know if it's... Yeah. Yeah, I would get. Would you, would you say it's addiction? It's, a, it's pretty. Yeah, it's a huge addiction. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty dangerous level. Well, not. Yeah, pretty. You could say pretty dangerous level of addiction. You know, to the point where you. Yeah. It's basically taking up other aspects in your life. Uh, but for myself in secondary four, I you know I didn't do gaming. I was actually that was the what I like to call the peak of my like my swimming career. It still hasn't ended, but that was at least until now. That's sort of the peak. Uh, at least in terms of like the number of sessions I have to do a week. Oh. So uh, in swimming, we don't really call, uh, we don't really say like we train seven days a week because the professionals, they actually train like two times per day, probably two swimming sessions and then one like uh, dry land session where, they're do, where they do like strengthening exercises yeah. like pull-ups, push-ups or sit-ups, those sorts of things. So we talk about how many sessions per week and during secondary four, I was basically at the peak. I was training um, before competitions, before this uh, inner school competition, I was training six to seven sessions, maybe eight. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I just want to, I want to I <laughs> every just single want, day. <laughs> I just want to make that number higher. Like some, there, there would be days when I would be training like two sessions. And, you know, compared with like the Hong Kong team members, that's not a lot. But um, to me, that's, you know, that's a pretty huge commitment. Uh, I really committed to swimming that year because um, I wanted to do well in, co in the competition.